Hello everyone, here is Moon and today I am going to do something I haven't done in a long time and definitely not recently. I think in this package, well, it does seem that there are multiple locks, but there should be a challenge lock in there. So I am going, oh well, it's not just one challenge lock. There are multiple challenge locks here. Oh wow. Thank you, John Lock. Thank you very much. I did not expect it <laughs> to be that many. So yeah, let me see. There is a pushover by you got this. Uh, you got this. It doesn't say who it is. That's probably just a lock. I don't think this one is challenge lock. So let's put this one aside. Stabilit. I don't know. I'll give it a go later. Push over by J. Gabriels. All right, that's interesting. There is a sale by Mr. Deadlocks. Gravity a bitch. Working one way. No idea. Yeah, it wants to be picked on the European style. I'm sure I will have one. We'll have fun with this one. I have no idea why the key works only one way. But the one I was really looking forward to is this one. It's Yagias number one. Is it painted? There is some really, really nice engraving in there. And I was looking forward to it. That's a six pin lock. Let me try to get the key out without looking at it. I don't like looking at the keys and I'm getting a challenge lock. So I'll put it in the pocket. I'll get it into the wise, maybe other way around, this way. And let's see if I can pick it on camera blind. All right, what have you got here? Uh, let's just grab a wiper insert. And let's have a deep hook for this keyway. Okay, some core movement. One, two, three, four seems to be binding. Tiny click there like it was a serration. And more core movement. kind of weird as expected from a CL okay some core movement on six okay now this is moving movement on five I think Is it counter rotation? Is it over setting? Hard to tell. Okay, 
that was core movement on four. Five. And I'm out. Somehow I feel that I'm finding just five pins. Five, four, three. Where are the pins? I'm obviously not finding them. takes some time to get the feeling for the pins and I'm pretty much just poking them blindly right now. Let me drop them a little. Maybe I've overset something already. much difference. I'm not saying much, am I? Rather, I'm trying to figure out what's going on in the lock. Springy, four is springy, or maybe I do need deeper hook after all. was 
too much counter rotation. Moment. Let's see if something changed this time. Let's get a deeper one. It's number two. Number one again. I think. Now it's loose. Hopefully set. Three is loose. Once in the back, not making much sense yet, or any more. I don't know which it is. Jiggly, two, jiggly, three, mm, got a bit higher, and there's also jiggly, four, binding, and now jiggly. Five might be binding, let's leave it alone for now, and six, six is binding. Five or six, I'm not sure. Six is jiggly. It's five. And the counter rotates quite a bit. Unless I'm picking warding. Full set for sure. It's number four, it's deeper and it's binding. It was binding. number two again. How come? It feels like I'm getting close. Something is not quite there yet.
in the rear. I'm not quite sure where I'm on the wording and where. Ah ha ha ha! And it's open. Now let's have a look at this bitting. <laughs> All right, relatively flat. It felt slightly differently. Well, the number three is. It's not three, it's number four. It's low and three is up. Yeah, that is right. Okay, let's see. Turns nicely. Let's got it. And have a look what's inside. Think it will survive many more cuttings. Okay, clip is out. Key goes in. Shim. Follower. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Drivers looks look fairly standard. The core is threaded. Not much though. Just one, one turn or something. It might have been is it threading or is it milling? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it looks like threading, but relatively light. Still quite nice. Um, now the drivers. One. That looks like a. It should have been a barrel spool, you know, for thin, thin lip. In there. Yeah, I guess. That makes sense now. Why I couldn't understand much. Those barrel spools combined with a slight milling. That's kind of handmade assa. That's quite nice. And interestingly, they're all very uniform. I have no idea how did he make it. They all look very, very similar. Interesting. And the springs. One, two, three look like they are same. Four. Five and six, yeah. Same spring, incredibly nice engraving. Very smooth looking lock and uh, homemade barrel spools. Here we go, pins close up. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you, Yagias, for a very nice lock and thank you for watching. Bye.